How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and let's get right into today's episode. You had asked me to do a world tour, so I want to show you guys what my place is all about. So I guess we'll start with this, which is the 60 villager farm, iron farm. This monstrosity over here has 60 villagers filled with different kinds of villagers to get awesome traits like enchanted books, armors, and stuff like that. And also, it's a fully functioning iron farm as well because they're the same thing, so you may as well just put them together. Um, it makes a ton of iron. It makes over 500 iron per hour, especially once you have all the cats uh, collected as well. Um, I do have a tutorial for that on my page, so you can go ahead and check that out. Over here on the side of my iron farm, I have a huge wheat farm because I ended up needing to breed the villagers and you give them bread to do that. Over here on this side, I have a tree farm, wood farm, whatever you want to call it. And I also have this guy over here, which, is he trading me anything good? Gunpowder? No, I already have pumpkin seeds. Okay, no, nothing's really good over here. But live and let live, right? So yeah, a ton of wood farm because I used to like to trade sticks um, with the villagers to get emeralds. But now I just, I'm hoping to use it for other projects as well. Uh, this right here, I guess you could call this one the main room because the whole purpose of uh, this world is that uh, this is where I want to stand. If I'm standing in this room, I want all of the farms around me to work. So the iron farm is running. I got some other farms running as well that I'm I'm really excited to show you. Um, so let's check this one out over here. Uh, up here, we have a gold farm and mostly an experience farm. But basically, it's um, it's the zombie piglins. It's when you turn on and off the uh, nether portals and the piglins end up spawning. I guess I could show you guys a quick little demonstration about that. So if I click this button, it should get it to start working. Um, yeah, if this light goes off and that light goes off, then that means that it's working well. And you see, so basically, zombie piglins end up spawning. Um, they get funneled through over here when they're not glitched <laughs> inside of it. And then basically, I just stand over here on this side and I'm going to be, uh, you know, collecting their XP. So this is what I was using to enchant all of my stuff because you need a lot of uh, levels. And this thing, it works pretty well, actually. So that's it for the experience farm. Uh, let, let me show you some of the other farms that I have in my world as well. Um, this one over here, I have like a potion stand, which I haven't really done another run yet, which is kind of upcoming in the future. But basically, I have this really cool system to automatically put water bottles in so I could brew a whole bunch of stuff. I ended up using this for Splash Potions of Weakness to get um, zombie villagers and turn them into regular villagers to start the farm. Because um, otherwise, it's really annoying to go and find a villager and then bring them all the way back. Um, over here, I have a little lava farm going. I have about, I think, 13 or so uh, cauldrons with uh, dripstone. So this is uh, a little lava farm. That I'm using and uh, it hooks up over here to my super smelter so if I ever uh, you know when I'm mining out all this stuff and I want my cobblestone to be smelted into stone uh, you could see it this thing is just like constantly working and it's a renewable source of energy so you know you got to stay green if you love being green you know what you got to do you got to hit that like button you got to hit that subscribe button I would really appreciate it next over here we have a wool farm which is actually almost completely full i might have to add a second chest to it but this thing is completely automatic it doesn't need any intervention by me at all so basically i just have a bunch of shears in a dispenser and it it looks like it's they're still okay to be honest and uh, using a little bit of redstone um it shears the sheep automatically to put this this is going to be used for netherite mining uh over here it would be nice to retexture this as well, but this was like one of the first projects I ever ever ended up making. It's a sugarcane farm, and because the the way the sugarcane grows, it grows slowly, and bamboo grows a lot more quickly. So I use bamboo to make this farm more efficient. It's not meant to be a bamboo farm because there's only one piece of bamboo in there, but I guess just over time it ends up stocking up. Um, up here I have my chest room which I have a whole lot of chests. Um, they're, you know, sorted the way I like them. I like to have a nature chest, a mob chest, a utilities chest, redstone. And then, of course, I have all kinds of different blocks. Uh, I got a whole bunch of wood chests, right? Um, and then over here, I have a cool little garbage can. So whatever you put in here, uh, if you want to throw it away. Um, and then once you step off the plate, it, dis it get gets rid of it very safely. And... Um, 
yeah, outside, I guess this was like my original like little work nook, but I ended up uh, <laughs> making so many more useful things. And then uh, out here we got uh, this. This was literally the first farms that I made when I when I first decided I was like, oh, I'm going to stay over here. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, perfect. Phantom membrane. That's going to be really useful. Actually, I can make a potion out of that right away. Okay, maybe the nighttime wasn't the best time to show you. But anyways, I have just a little cow farm going. I had the wheat farm here, but I ended up moving it. Um, just because I needed something a little bit bigger. Uh, and then other than that, I got my nice little pet horse over here, George. You see, he's doing well. I kept him out of the rain. I made him a nice little stable for him to be in. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for my base. Um, the next thing that I would like to add to this base is like an enchanting table. Uh, but I kind of want to make it outdoors. I want it to be like a nice patio deck. If you want to download my Let's Play World so you can play on it yourself, check out the link in the description below. Become an Ultra member today and you'll be able to download my Let's Play World. And I update it once a month so you can see how my world has progressed in the past eight months and how it will continue to grow. A big thank you to all of my current supporters. I appreciate each and every one of you. You also gave me a really good idea with what to do with the cat room next. And that's what I'm going to do in today's episode. I'm going to breed some more of the cats so that way if anything ever happens to one of them, at least the efficiency of the farm won't be harmed. So before I breed more cats, I actually need to tame them first. So I'm going to make a couple of fishing rods. Um, let's see, how much string do I have over here? Oh, I have a ton of string. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make two fishing rods. Um and I'm going to put the string away. And I'm also going to put these sticks away. And the phantom membrane. Nice. Okay. And then you see over here in this garbage, I'm just going to put away the rotten flesh. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to go out on the water. So I'm going to need a boat. But actually, I have a raft. I kept this one from, uh, from my last adventure. So I'm going to use that. And then I just need to clean up my inventory a little bit. Uh, just so that I have the space. Uh, in case I find anything cool along the way while I'm on my way to, to the ocean biomes. Hello, Mr. Enderman. Oh, look at that. He placed he placed another grass block in here. <laughs> he is going to completely cover this thing by the time we're done with this series. So, you know what? I love it. I love it. I'm not going to touch that block. So, let me clean up my inventory. One second. Okay, perfect. So, now I'm ready to go start fishing because, first of all, to tame the cats, I'm going to need to feed them fish. And then also, to breed the cats, you need to give them more fish. So because I have five in there, I'm going to try to get at least a stack of fish. Uh, see if that's going to be enough um, to tame them. And maybe I need it for a little bit of a future project as well. But now that it is raining, um, I think that makes it easier to fish, to, to be completely honest. So let's see. Um, I'm going to put the bobber out. And let me fast forward this a little bit. Let me try to see if I can get anything interesting. Just in case there are some of you that don't know how to fish. So basically you shoot the bobber out. And you'll see some particles running towards the bobber. You can kind of see it. And then once it dips under the water, you pull it back. And that's when you know it's ready to... That you have a fish ready to be pulled. Or sometimes you get all kinds of junk. See, I ended up getting two fish. But I actually have a bowl too in my inventory. You get like a lot of random stuff. So wait for the particles. And actually it does work a lot better while it's raining. Like I'm getting a lot of good stuff over here. And that's it. So between 46 cod and 18 salmon, that is going to be enough. That's a stack of fish. So let's go back to the cat farm and try to tame them. Before we tame the cats, I just wanted to show you what else you can get from fishing. So I ended up getting nine puffer fish, three nautilus shell, two leather, a bowl, a tripwire hook, a bow that was enchanted with flame one, which is really ironic. Two water bottles, which, let's be honest, they were probably empty bottles that got thrown away into the ocean. So try not to litter anymore, please. Uh, leather boots, that's gross. I don't even want that in my inventory. Okay, so let's go and tame these cats. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get inside of here. And what you have to do is you have to, like, sneak. Because uh, cats don't like to come up to you. Just got to be close and see which one is going to come. This one seems... Seems to be looking at me. No, not really. Maybe I started off too close. Maybe I just got to come all the way back. There we go. And then slowly, slowly. Which one is it going to be? Okay. Okay, number four ate some of them. Oh, do they just eat them even without it? Okay, perfect. I thought you had to... 
Oh, maybe that was just for something else. So this one's tamed because I can make it sit. And also they get a collar. So, um, let's see. And then I'm going to tame this one. And then I'm going to tame this one. I'm not going to make them sit in the water. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, and look at that. Okay, yeah. So I, I kind of forget which one I already gave the fish to. So... And what about this one over here? Okay, perfect. So, if there's five of them here, then there should be two kittens. Okay. Wow, I ended up using a lot of fish. Thank God I ended up getting a whole stack, huh? Okay, but perfect. So, now that we have tamed all the cats, I think this is a great place to end this video. So, if you liked it, please leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Alright, have an awesome day. Toaster out.